Here shortly, we'll be hearing some beautiful noises. So one of the things I wanted to talk about today was the wiring of the injectors and uh, kind of some of the things that I've learned over here by reading over the past couple of uh, weeks. Uh, luckily, I had a few comments that kind of pointed me down this direction. And uh, the nice thing about it, though, is it made me make a correction. And it worked out fairly well. I can't notice too much on there, but I did notice that uh, one of the injectors uh, did clean up a little bit. Or sorry, not injectors. Spark plugs did clean up a little bit, so I was wondering if it had something to do with this. Anyway, uh, up front of you, I've got two web pages pulled up. I've got the injector wiring from Speedwheelio uh, Wiki and the engine constants from Speedwheelio Wiki as well. One of the things that's important to point out here is when I come down here to injector staging, one of the things you'll notice, and actually even on squirts per engine cycle, it's a full cycle. It's not one rotation as in 360 degrees, it's 720. And so it's the full four strokes of it. But where this comes into play though, is you'll notice here if you select alternating, which is recommended for most installs, the injectors are timed around each cylinder's top dead center. That means it's already figured out exactly how to behave this, and it makes kind of more sense. So if I come around and I take a look at the injector wiring, I've got the six cylinder pulled up, and uh, you can see here's the eight cylinder as well, but since mine's a uh, straight six, I'll use that as an example. Actually, when I wired them up, I wired them up as one and six together, but what I didn't do and what I kind of messed up a little bit is I had injector two uh, going to, instead of going to two and five, I had to go to three and four, and then I had injector uh, three go to two and five. So I had those two swapped. So what this meant is because I had it set to alternating two strokes, it was figuring out and saying, okay, well, we need injector one to fire around here when the injector, you know, top dead center situation is going on. And then the same for injector two, it's going to happen when cylinder two and five are at top dead center and kind of that timing there. And then the same with three. But the problem was is, well, that wasn't exactly what I needed to do. I had kind of a different situation there. So what I had to go back is to come in and uh, switch those physically wiring. I had to switch injector two and injector three around. It made it smooth out a little bit more at idle, but you can't tell anything once you get it up and, and running. But it did smooth out the air fuel ratios at idle and, uh, and make them a little more stable. So that was kind of nice. You could barely tell it, and who knows if it's a placebo effect or not, but uh, that was something I found kind of interesting, the way Speedwino does. It's kind of uh, alternating and uh, doing all that for you based on the 720 degree rotation and, uh, and the full engine cycle in that regard. So for those of you that are out there that are wiring this up right now, just make sure you pay attention if you've got a V8, it's the same thing as well. Make sure you pair them at top dead centers for the injector drivers, which is what I did, but the injector order is also firing in top dead cylinder order as well. And so you just gotta follow that along and say, here's the firing order, so you know, um, one, then eight is the next top dead center, and then, uh, then seven is the next top dead center after that, and then two, and then at that point in time, you've gone through the whole pair uh, based on that rotation. And so that's exactly what it's gonna do, and it's gonna take care of you and get that wired up correctly and base it as almost a semi-sequential uh, type injection. And so it's not true, call it out semi-sequential, but the behavior of it is acting just like that. It's not full sequential where it's one squirt pourer, um, but uh, you also do have the ability to go in there and start adjusting the injector close degrees and uh, and making that a little more customized as well. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. It's been kind of a crazy week this week, so this isn't my normal lengthy video. But what I do want to do is show you kind of where I'm at. I've been working on the turbo project, and uh, I'll go ahead and cut that to here now. All right, so I want to do a quick little update on the turbo project. As you can notice now, I've got that installed. Uh, loosely for mock-up right now, uh, the Datsun is now down. The car will not be up and running again until it is turboed. Since last time, uh, we've got the intercooler mounted. Brad came over today, helped us get a lot of things done. 
The pipe with the blow-off valve is mounted. It's going stretching across there. Coming out to there where it should connect to our other charge pipe and go straight to the turbo there. So things are going well. I went ahead and uh, we're in the process of cleaning up the intake manifold. You see over here we're welding out some shut, uh, welding the hole shut when we ran into a little bit of a problem with the uh, the TIG uh, having a crack in the back of the basically the head of the the torch and uh, it was allowing some of the air to come in so it started doing some funny things so we had to call it a day. All in all though, it's coming along. Got a spare oil pan over here that uh, I'm going to drill out, tap, and take care of, and do all of that. Um, yeah, it's been it's been quite the process. Uh, a little bit earlier this week, I had some fun. I went ahead and updated all of my fuel injectors to kind of a bigger injector, so that way when I'm going to start the car. I'm going to be starting it with the newer injectors. I've already ran them, I'm sorry. I wanted to make it so that when I start the car and it has these bigger injectors, it wasn't starting it for the very first time. So I took a few moments to get everything tuned out um, the other day uh, to get these injectors up and running and, uh, and working well. Anyway, more to come. It's been uh, quite a process. You can see my garage is an absolute mess at the moment. But uh, there she sits. She's coming together. And uh, here shortly, we'll be hearing some beautiful noises. Stay tuned.